Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to take the square root of a fraction, uh, 49 over 121. And I'm going to look at this one a little bit differently. We can, uh, when we're taking the square root of a fraction, break it up into the square root of our numerator divided by a square root of denominator, which I think a lot of people would probably prefer um, by breaking up that way. But I want to show you just another way of looking at this problem. Um, rather than just always breaking it apart. Basically, when we're looking at a fraction, it's, you know, remember taking the square root and saying, what number multiplied by itself is going to give us 49 over 21? So basically, we're looking for two fractions that are going to multiply to give us 49 that are exactly this, um, that are, ex that are going to multiply to give us 49 in the numerator and 121 in the denominator that are exactly the same, right? Because remember, like the square root of 4 is equal to the square root of 2 times 2, which is just equal to 2. Square root, what number multiplied by itself gives us, you know, 4? Oh, 2 times itself equals 4. So when we think about this, we say, all right, well, what number that's exactly the same multiplies to give you 49? Because remember, when you multiply fractions, you multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So what number that's exactly the same multiplies to give you 49? Just think of it that way. Well, that's going to be 7 and 7. What numbers multiplied by, by each other um, are going to give you 121? Well, we know 10 times 10 is 100. And so it's going to be probably pretty close to that. You can check. But it would probably be a good um, reason to look into 11 times 11 or 12 times 12. Well, the answer ends up being 11. So therefore, you can see these fractions are identical. So therefore, the answer is 7 elevenths, which if you did it this way, the square root of 49 is 7. The square root of 121 is 11. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate for a perfect square number in a radical. Thanks.